Hey guys, what's going on? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, a lot of things have been changing with the new set out. Things have been changing day by day. Uh, we've seen Evelyn kind of take over for a little bit. And right now, the deck that's doing the most damage on Standard Ladder is this Jinx Kennen Bandle Discard Aggro deck. Uh, this deck's pretty cool. It looks to really take advantage of the Return O Wrench card, the 2 mana 0 0 equipment with impact. Uh, when I'm discarded, equip me to a random unequipped ally. What that means is you can discard it to a Zonai Urchin. It's going to go onto your Zonai Urchin, and when it dies, it goes back to your hand to be discarded yet again, keeping that like discard engine always going. And because of that, we get to really, really, really take advantage of cards that want to discard something, right? We have like, um, <clears throat> we have all three copies of Blowback. We have Parts Made Whole, which is really cool with the uh, with the Returnal Wrench because it will make Kathy Mirage. It is an equipment. Uh, blowback, we have Electro Harpoon, all three Zonai Urchins, right? Like, we are very good at discarding cards. Um, and then we have a standard, like, kind of aggro -y shell outside of that. The Zonai Urchins with the Boom Baboons. Uh, the Kennens are pretty nice because Lightning Rush can give you another burn spell, and it's a quick attack one drop. Forge Chief lets you get stuff going faster. And then we have Squeaker, which is, whoops, sorry. Uh, Squeaker, which I think is a really fun card because not only does it discard, it gets pretty big. And with things like Boom Ba Boom and your burn spells, you're able to squeak it through sometimes. Uh, and the Mecha Yordles can actually swing a game quite a bit. You can get some really, really impactful ones. Uh, I played this deck about four times i think i've absolutely obliterated my opponent every single time <laughs> uh so we're just gonna jump on ladder and hopefully hopefully it goes the same all right what are we against timo timo freljord mono timo freljord is this poros but without poro king or something what is this i don't know uh, i don't want to keep parts made whole i don't want to keep jinx in my opener this is like okay but i think it's not that great i'm gonna mulligan him look for some one drops Okay, we got the Return o Wrench and the Boom Baboon. Uh, basically, our best discard options. Sucks we didn't draw one drop in a deck full of like 12 of them. But that's okay. Prepared for anything. I have a feeling that that Teemo is not going to die if I shoot it. So, I don't think I'm even going to try. I think I'm just going to Boom Baboon. <clears throat> and then next turn, we can Squeaker plus Electro Harpoon Teemo, right? I think we'll start here. Like, I can go after Teemo later with the burn if I want to. Uh, big fan of Dune Hopper Mech here. These are way too clunky. Not what we want. I think we want to be staying aggressive. Who's a good boy? That's a good question. I think we go after that then instead. Discard here. This Electro Harpoon and Blowback do so much work in this deck, allowing you to, like, clear the way. That's funny that it went. The impact went on the unit that's not going to hit. Uh, it allows you to clear the way while, like, still doing damage to your opponent. Which is really what we're trying to do. We are a burn deck, after all. Another blowback. Oh, okay. Am I going to shoot Teemo? I mean, yeah. I am, I think. Question is, like, with what? It's not going to be blowback because I don't have the, um... The discard necessary. All right, we'll we'll Mystic Shot Teemo. We don't want to see here to help because that would keep him alive. But I can beat Elixir of Iron. I don't want to just take this. If I had like stuff to develop with, if I had stuff to develop with this turn, I think I would just take it. And then I just go like, dude, dude, my turn. Dune Hopper Mech, what are you going to do about it, right? Like, I'm going to burn you out faster than I'm going to drop Pubcaps. That would be my plan. But since we have nothing to develop with, just burn spells, I think I think taking care of Teemo is probably best. They don't really have anyone to stop this. Right? Like, what are, the, what are they going to do in this reason combination? When crime calls, a reply Ooh, is don't you just love it when you give up burn deck cards? <laughs> Fantastic. In we go. Here's a bajillion damage. You gotta block the 6-6, six, six, man. You can't let that through. Maybe they have a freeze, but even then. I'm gonna get my um I'm gonna get my, my Returno wrench back. Which is just gonna start letting me like blow back and stuff. Alright, Harsh Winds is a great start. Mm-hmm. That's fine. 
fine with me. Opponent at eight. And I have two, five, eight. Math checks out. Don't really need this. Yep. I'll pass priority. We'll have all the resources we need to do our burn next turn. Oh, okay. All right, Sump Monument. Uh, now the plan changes. Now we need to push damage. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go Zonite, Zonite. Refuse the discard. I'm going to get this guy out of the way, I think. And then we're just going to open attack with the gang. So Monument definitely going to buy us some time, buy them some time. But probably not as much as they would like. I'm about to put a lot of puff caps in there. Another harsh wind. Nice. Jinx was an incredible draw. Uh, yep. So that's going to be 8, 16, 24 puff caps. Pretty good, pretty good. Here's Jinx. Yes, you and me, fish bones. <laughs> nice, more burn. We take those. A uh, bit awkward here with this. I don't actually have to discard anything with blowback, and so I'm not. Well, I really should though. I really should. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll. Oh man, I want the Jinx rocket. <laughs> but like. I want full value from these burn spells. It is what it is. I could like shoot this instead because I'm going to get the rocket. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I'll give you to the counter. Time's up. It's like worse if our opponent has the means to save Puffcat Peddler, which they probably do. But if they're looking to save their Puffcat Peddler, they're not putting on like any pressure, right? Pay it. Pay it. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to have a decent chunk of puff caps. I have 33 puff caps and 16 health. You have a lot more than that. With a lot less health. Oh, no, sorry. 26. 26 puff caps right now. No, 30, 31. It lied. Now 30. Have some more. Casual 12 more puff caps. And you go to 1. Surely nothing bad will happen. Oh, sorry. I, you don't take damage. Oh, my God. I'm struggling right now. Okay, I get a lot of puff caps. This is their route to victory, right? It's like with an insider knowledge or something. Oh, but they're drawing two. Whoa, I take four. And two. Okay. Thanks, Jinx, for trying to kill me. We could lose here. We drew not great cards. <laughs> okay. That's a good start for us. Anything that doesn't kill us right now is good for us. Uh-huh. You get a lot more shrooms in there. Sure. Keep them alive. You got it. Uh-huh. How many more is that? 16 more shrooms. Woo. That's buying them a lot of time. Let's get this rocket out. Watch your step. All right, I have to draw two cards. Teams, so like I have just as much of a chance to lose as they do. Yeah. 70 cards. They need to hit three puff caps. Oh my God. Oh, come on. Wow. All right. What a finish. GG. What a finish. Some monument won them the game. I talked a lot of crap about that card. It won them the game, though. That was really, that was really funny. All right. Annie Jin. Been seeing a lot of Annie Jin. People really liking that deck right now. Is it because of the new Tome? Uh, I don't want any of these. I actually, maybe we want a Mystic Shot. Nope. No, I don't. We have Electro Harpoon and Blowback. I want... The equipment. 
and one drops. Okay, we have one of those conditions fulfilled, satisfied, whatever. Nice. Second condition built. Let's go shield. I like never pick shield, <laughs> but I don't know. If we find a squeaker or something, I can make it big enough to block an Annie. It's likely going to get discarded anyway. The no second one will get me a, a spear. You make a 2 2 that blocks like the, the 1 1 guy, right? We don't have any like beneficial discards. We have like some free discards, right? Like we can go Ken in and then ditch Mark of the Storm to Zonite Urchin, and that's pretty good. But it's not like discarding Boom Baboon or like the equipment or whatever. Not I'll yet. Shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. See? See? I'm not going to play it. I'm <laughs> just going to run out one drops. You want to trade? Hell yeah. Oh, -ho. I mean, I doubt you're going to kill your own unit. <laughs> A lot of one drops. For both of us, both parties. Everything's in play. Boom. Footing to nothing. <laughs> you have much to learn. I think that puts us like really far ahead. The card we have to watch out for the most is like Pirouette. That card can kind of blow us out. But other than that, I don't know. I have to imagine this is a pretty decent matchup for us. We're kind of out of units a little bit. There's magic, but and then that's fine. There's me. I'm going to shoot you. I could just like play a one drop and jam for like a bunch. I think that's probably better actually. Finder sharers. Here's damage. Would you like to trade? Yeah. I'm going to shoot this next turn. They really don't want to take this trade, so I just, like, got three damage for free, right? Like, maybe I take one. That's fine. Whatever. I don't care. We're way ahead in the damage race. As long as we don't do anything super stupid, we should come out ahead. Uh, thinking about it, we're probably going to want to open attack on the following turn to not walk into any of the stun things or... um. Pirouette, which I guess counts as a stun thing. Shoot this one. Nah. Shoot this one. Right. What, what else you got? I will loot the spear away, try to find something else. I'll hold on to parts made whole because I think we're going to take this turn to do like on the board damage and then we're going to be switching to, there's pure wet. Uh, then we're going to be switching to trying to deal just burn damage. Burn, impact, all that good stuff. Four in hand. Opponent likely knows they're going to have to block here. I don't think they can afford to not block. Oh, that's too good of a draw to pass up, I feel like. Yeah, I can't pass it up. I have my orders. Ooh. Hope your orders involve having a nether pirouette in hand, or this is going to be a bad time. <laughs> Go back and down. All right, GG. I'm the superior aggro deck. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the burn deck now. I do feel like the deck that plays Jury Rig is probably favored in the deck that plays a bunch of X1s, but you know, that's just me. All right, what do we got? Ooh, Blast from the Past. A little bit of Vayne Aatrox. Haven't been seeing much of this. Um, I have to imagine because it runs into like the Siren Song Evelyn decks and just gets outstatted. I really like Kennen in this deck because he immediately makes Mark of the Storm and then you can discard it to something and that's called Synergy. Let's Forge Chief going. Get to work. I love free mana. Gear up. Keep it up. I can't believe we lost to that sump monument when our opponent was at five. We put so many shrooms in our opponent's deck and they didn't draw any of them.
Mm. Okay. I have mastered the rain, lightning, and cloud styles. Come on, people. I think I'm just gonna play the units. If our opponent attacks, I would have like blocked and then uh, electro harpooned. That's why I'm keeping that as well. Oh man. Coming through. Mm -hmm. go, Locking the people. cannon. Kind of weird. Keep I feel down. like. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. I'm gonna ditch the squeaker. I want the burn spells. Um, really bouncer and bolt. Then I'd like to see another card before I like just cast electro harpoon. We don't have the fodder, unfortunately. Ditch this blowback. More they're gonna like equip. Broadwing here. I could just do this. I don't actually have to discard anything. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of damage, but I don't have the cards to discard with it with. Okay, yeah, sure. That's fine. You have like the tough armor? There it is, yeah. You just okay. It's pretty strong for our opponent. We'll take the pass. You're in there. Oh, unless. Yeah, I think that's a better pull right there. Bounce from Bolt. And I'm not going to play Urchin because we're not going to attack with our two ones. They're just running into, like, Elkin and this Broadwing. There we go. That's the good stuff. Um, Yeah, let's just send it after Vayne right now. Okay, so we were stopped a little bit short, I feel like. are no easy prey. A little bit of this. And then, yeah, when our opponent starts coming after stuff, I get to throw this under the bus. We get to Zanai Urchin. You'll pay. And keep churning through the deck. That card is so good. I, I think we should look for it really hard in Mulligans. What up, Jinx? Welcome to the crew. We're working here. Get a little bit of blocking. Let's go, people. Keep it up. <sighs> um, hmm. I don't worry about fish fight. So I guess I'll start here. Hopefully we find something we can cast with Jinx. We don't. Uh-huh. If we get hit by spear or something and we just lose Jinx, I would just be in such a bad spot for like no reason. We'll cast the chompers. Scouting ahead. I think I just throw it under the bus here. I think we want to save some life. Uh-huh. Well, there's no tumble. So we'd really like to get Jinx going. Oh, another rough draw. That is that is really bad. That's like our only card we can't cast with Jinx. That's that's pretty bad luck. I'll take this parts main hole. A little bit of this, make ourselves a three two. Okay. Coming in for three. We're on the burn plan. We're on the survive for one more turn. Kill them with burn. That sounded pretty good. The survive for one more turn and kill them with burn plan. Quinn's going to flip. Mm -hmm. Quinn's going to flip. That's going to make it difficult. We get to make a, a burst speed 1-1. One, one, which is good. Oh, okay. Um, Who's got challenger? A 3-3? Three, 3-3's three? Three, got challenger. Yorno Squire, one mana, two mana.
Yeah, okay. So we go like spear. Looking for a hero for, for my hero. hero. Just like hunting thresher geese. Do I live? I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Where valor goes, victory follows. I haven't done the math, I'm gonna be honest with you. Ooh, oh man, that's yeah, no, that's good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. They're going six wide again. Uh, I don't think we quite get there. You're not a hero, right? Especially because they're gaining life. Like, I really need to survive a turn with Jinx, and I just don't think we're going to do that. We get three units on board. It goes six wide. It's not looking good. All right, I'm just going to make the play that maybe wins us the game. Spear, Jinx. We're in a parts made hole. Maybe we hit another jury rig. I don't even think that keeps us alive. Scouting ahead. I think it kills us by one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's better. Oh, oh. Valor, to me. Yep, get the dragonling as well. Do a little bit of this. Time's up. Alright, and we don't quite get there. GG. Whoo, man, that was a turnaround for them, huh? The drawing augmented clockling, like, lost us the game. It was so bad. Um so bad because I couldn't go clockling Jinx rock at them, right? Like, maybe I should have just said, you know what? We're just going to play Jinx. And if they have fish fight, they have fish fight. But over. I don't know. I was like, what could I possibly draw that would ruin the game for me? Apparently, it was on at clockling. All right, what do we got here? Nidalee set. Interesting. I, You have my attention. Uh, a lot of counter spells possible in that. Uh, let's ship it all. Again, really looking for the equipment. There it is. All right, nice. Uh, hello. We'll forge chief. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Look to cheat a bit on our mana. Keep it up. All right, nice. That's what we like to see. That is really what we like to see, huh? Shoot that. That's fine. I'm nice and vulnerable. Except, wait, I'm still attacking you. <laughs> hmm. Looking for a hero for my hero. Um, I don't see any benefit to developing, so I'm just gonna slam the spear. I already have discard fodder and get in there. Just open attack for six. Ionia Shirima, not a lot of ways to deal with this. It's not like they have mystic shots or anything, right? Let's get some cards out of her hand. Get Jinx ready. We won't be able to use her this turn, but that's okay. Ah, Jungle Cat Nidalee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the squeaker. We can find a lot of good things here. I'll go ahead and squeak. Okay, we these weren't quite what I was looking for. I was looking for like the uh the three two or the one four. Anything that costs two mana, right? So I could just play it this turn. Is this the manifest? I think this card's really bad. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Uh do you have a vulnerable grantor again? Oh nice hit. Uh-huh. Gouge them! Doesn't, doesn't really do much. <laughs> Gouge them. Yep. Yep. You're not a hero, right? Chirp. Get out! Uh. Man, it gets a bit awkward. That's fine. All right, let's get to it. I could go like Jinx, Wrench, Jinx, Urchin. Is that better? 
don't think so. I think we just play a normal game here. Like, we just play a normal game, and then I play Jinx. Because if I make that line and they kill Jinx, then I'm like, ah. Oh, now what do I do? I don't know how they kill Jinx, but, you know, maybe they do. This is pretty good. <laughs> this is pretty solid. We could walk into Concussive Palm or something, which is fine. Yeah, there's the Palm. This is definitely our opponent's best, like, line. Threaten my pack, die by my claws. That's cool that Palm flips into Lee. Okay, so our board's gonna take a bit of a beating. I could jam both just to get impact. Two. Oh, I put Natalie down to two HP. Is that worth it? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, next turn, we get to go Jinx into Squeaker once our opponent caches in the Nidalee Spear. Just discard, yeah, literally anything we draw. Want a piece of me? Line okay. starts here. Okay, our opponent sends it back, which I'm like, yeah, of course. Why not do that? Uh, but the problem is, is like, I might just cast Jinx. <laughs> now, we didn't hit a card that let us do that, unfortunately. Well, we do. We did. But it's like, didn't quite work the way we wanted to, you know what I mean? Flip the boon. Could walk into another palm, is what it is. Oh, what's that gonna be? Maybe the blimp? I don't even know. I'm just gonna keep casting things. Oh, those are pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with smash and dash again. It's the most mana efficient, and I like being mana efficient. Nice. I wanted to be, I wanted to override something anyway. Uh, is it going to be the 4-4 four four though? I feel like that's probably pretty bad. Uh, I'm over it. That's my baby. It's dead. Two damage is two damage. We'll keep, they, we'll keep the impact, too, because I don't think they're going to kill us next turn, so. For you. Yeah, they get some decent blocks. You're gonna need a doctor. But unfortunately for them, um, their decent blocks are going to put things into Jinx Rocket range. You cannot win. You were one. I don't remember being warmed. Tag out your own Nidalee. Okay, yeah, keep that life total high. That's fine with me. Set so goes to X1. Couple things die. I got my two 4-4s. Four yeah. Set gets to kill a 4-4 four four for free. That's pretty strong. Man, my cards are too strong. I'll never get to use this Jinx. I guess we just pass. So let's see. We need eight mana to do this. And then I need to do this. Oh, man. I'm never going to get to play this Jinx, dude. I'm suffering from success over here. We have too much value going on. Let's see. At 27 of 40. All right. Well, our opponent is definitely not about to flip set. So we don't have to worry about that. Clockling. Wow. That makes Jinx really, really bad. The jungle is my home, and I am its guardian. There we go. That's what I like to see. Beat losers. I saw yes, you looking at me. Could be a counter card, right? Everything I have on the board is going to die anyway. Except that. I guess I don't have to make that block. I'm going to go like this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Grab them by the scruff. Well, I really want to know what it is. I'm going to let it die before I cast Blowback, right? How does this work? Is it just going to... Okay, it just gets rid of one. Honestly, that's better for us. Because I need to get these cards out of my hand. Well, then we just go Jinx, Parts Made Whole, discard the card, flip Jinx, get Rocket. Oh, God. Get this stupid card back. <laughs> God damn it. 
I should have just played Jinx there. That was a mistake. Okay. Uh, Urchin. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's getting ditched. Immediately. Stands for Jinx. Finally, we get to do it. Oh, and it lines up so nicely. Now we're going to get hit by Ride of Negation, but... <laughs> I get to at least make them cast Right of Negation. That's pretty strong. Yeah, all right. Nice. Got to do the thing. Got to do the thing. Ha, we blew them all up. What do we got here? Set Karma P and Z. A lot of life gain happening with this deck. Um, This might be a tough matchup. Happy to see Forge Chief. We're going to keep Eternal Wrench, and I'm going to keep Urchin. We're going to keep it like this. Okay, another Urchin's pretty solid, maybe? Depends on what we draw. We'll obviously start off with Forge Chief. I could try to squeak in one more point of damage by starting with Urchin, but I'd rather have the resource. We're going to have a really strong turn three, though. Really strong. Surely they don't play Caustic Grip, right? <laughs> Surely. Uh, Urchin discarding Wrench before I do the Flame Chompers because we don't want the impact to go on the Chompers. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going for it. If you if you have Caustic Grip, you're going to win this game. But otherwise, I'm going to blow you out of the water. Those are the options here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like this. I don't like this. Boo. Boo. It's all right. We can still win. I don't know how, but I'm sure we can. Okay, we're looking for, like, blowback, probably, off this, or, um, you know what I'm talking about, the, the two damage one. Electro Harpoon. Hmm. Parts main hole is fine. Gives us some cards. That's fine. We want things that discard here. Okay. Here's the chief. Let's get to work. Got this from a side quest. This feels right. Okay. Let's try this. You have another Caustic Griff? I tried to play around it as best I could. <laughs> Place your bets. Okay. Uh, perhaps they're close to high note? Not quite yet. Sure. That works really well for our blowback plan. It's coming along nicely. Considering we got blown out of the water earlier. We have a really, really good open attack next turn. Um, man, Dune Hopper Mech's really good. But I can't open attack with it. So maybe I take Mecha Forcer instead. I don't want to clunk up my hand to keep me away from Jinx. That's bad. So I want to take something cheap. I'll make it my business okay. to know the odds. Are you gonna coin into set? Cannon down. I have studied every fighting manual. Shaken or stirred. I am not blocking. Am I gonna waste the spell mana? Am I gonna waste the spell mana, huh? Uh we'll have seven, nine if I don't. I think I am gonna waste the spell mana here. 
Uh, cannon. Slam it down. Okay. That is a pretty good open attack. A lot of coins. We're gonna be able to flip set next turn. Doesn't show me progress, but they will. If they really want to, I feel like. Ah, uh, not activated high note. Sure. Take 10, go to six. I got zero mana up. I can't quite kill them, but I can get pressed. To actually play Jinx, we can do this. Here's a pass. Okay, we have Mystic Shot plus full blowback, right? Into Jinx look. And Cannon Spell. Wow, okay. Um, for your nerves, boss. Nah, wouldn't want to miss a second of seven, the Seven, nine. That doesn't seem worth it. Um, is it worth it? One extra guaranteed damage. Yeah, one extra guaranteed damage. Uh, on blowback is better, in my opinion. Like this, like that. Give me that rocket. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Da, 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 da. So yeah, they need to spend eight more. They have the three and the five. So if they can spend all eight, they'll flip set and we get kind of beat up. But. They have to not die at the same time. Uh, we could see something. Okay. I was going to say, we could see something like them put tag out on the stack on Mixologist, immediately play Mixologist, and then they get to go coin flip. That's a play I've made before. Welcome to the arena. It is okay. Here's a super mega death rocket. This is the deal four. Can you believe that? All right, we got a couple things that deal impact here. We've dug through a lot of our decks. Still got a lot of burn in there. Ready, here Everything's lethal. Very nice. Very nice. I probably should have just pumped Kennen just to give him spell shield because all the one ones are lethal anyway. I think that was a bit of a mistake. Let's go. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the deck. Uh, a bit fast, isn't it? That's a that's a quick deck. I have seen versions that play Sneezy Biggle Dust instead of um, the Parts Made Hole. And originally I was a big fan of Parts Made Hole because you know it it says it says draw two on it. Uh, but I found a lot of spots where I would have much rather had Sneezy Biggle Dust, particularly when we had Jinx and we were trying to get cards out of her hand. Uh, sometimes she was pretty awkward because like we just get so much value from our discard stuff, but it's nice to have both halves, right? Like you, you'd rather have too much value than not enough value. And uh, the deck feels honestly very smooth, especially for an aggro deck. You don't hear me say that very often, but this deck feels really uh, put together. Very, very strong. So if you like to beat your opponent up and shoot things and recur discard targets, maybe try this one out. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I'll see you next time.